All right, so we got this flame roaring up here at the very end. Uh, trying to see if there's anything left whatsoever inside of our system here of our bio crude conversion into gasoline. Uh, you can see the gasifying cook stove over here heating our test tube. There's still quite a bit of condensation showing up here inside of this test tube. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of fuels those are. I, I am going to test it here real quick as we stop this system in a moment. I once this ends and once I stop seeing condensation, I'll believe that most of my fuel has been produced. Uh, the only thing that should be left inside of this flask when I'm done is going to be basically coke ash, which is a heavy carbon ash. Uh, so that should be all that's left. And you can't really see inside of it at the moment, so I'm not sure how close to producing that coke ash I really am. So we're going to let that burn just a little bit longer here. And see just how much more is going to be produced. Probably heard one of those squirrels in the background just now. Alright, I'm actually seeing in the second condenser jug now, I think I see some liquid finally building in there. Uh, let me go over and shake that real quick and see if there is actually a liquid flow. It does appear to be some liquid. Very, very little. It's, it's not much. I can see just a light coating gathering at the bottom there. So not really much there. That could be uh, just a further distillation from the original process here. We've been burning now for a good 10 minutes or more. And uh, I'm pretty sure that most of what was inside of this is... Uh, been cracked off of there even though I still see quite a bit of condensation built in the top of this test tube uh, that does make me curious and how much more fuel is really there we're gonna go ahead and end this process when the fire dies down a bit here and test out that fuel it just produced and see just how well it works see whether or not we've refined it far enough to become a gasoline or if it's actually a diesel in that first one uh, still it needs to be further refined and the winds are going to kick up here and kind of blow that flame so that's not going to be hitting our test tube. So I'm going to lift it up and try to finish this off at a really high temperature. See if we can isolate the very last of anything in there. I can still hear it crackling and bubbling in there, so there's still something in there for energy. Uh, I can start seeing some steam building inside that jar over there. So there is some kind of moisture right now still transferring through the system. Uh, so I'll keep going here briefly. For the diehards, I left this part of the whole process in there for people that truly wanted to see uh, how far I took this just to show you what the fuel is on the other side All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down. I'm gonna let the system cool a bit here uh, We're gonna go over to that final jug first of all. Let's go ahead and lift this condenser once just see if any extra fluid had been stuck inside of the coil there. All right. Well, I don't see much more. All right. Now that we've uh, let the fire die down, I'm going to go ahead and remove the camera here. Uh, I wanted to show you something that I was talking about. Uh, we still got some nice red coals burning inside of there. You can see flashing. So I'm going to keep the camera out from over that. But I was going to tell you, you know, as I was saying throughout the shot, there's condensation or a moisture building still at the top of the test tube. And I'm not sure why it's building so thick and then running back down without ever leaving the system. I may have some restriction in here that I'm going to have to take a look at. But we did end up with some fuel out the other side here. So let's take a better look at this fuel. And you can see it. Let's see here. You see a little bit of it rocking around down in the very bottom down there. Uh, we're going to try to light this on fire real quickly here. Let's go ahead and set the camera down and see how well this lights on fire. 
Okay, so here we go. Alright, um, so what I've got here is I've got a lighter and a few sticks. Uh, I don't know, we got a couple pieces of wood and some sticks here. We got a lighter. Alright, so let's go ahead and see just how flammable, if at all, our fuel. Let me go ahead and give you a shot there, if I can, inside the jar. Showing you there's some sediment in there. Then Now that could have come out of the pipe. It actually has an oil appearance to it. I was just looking at it. Kind of a darker color, still kind of amber colored uh, on the fuel here. So we're going to take a longer stick, rub it around inside of that, try to get it covered, and see if this will burn at all. So here we go. There we go. Wow, look at that. It burned immediately and is almost gone. So there you go. That was the flash burn of our fuel. If it burned that fast, I'm actually expecting this to evaporate very quickly. Uh, let's try that again. All right, you can see the moisture all over the stick here. We can get the lighter to light. There we go. And it's burned off. Okay, so I don't want the stick to burn here. Let's try that again. This seems to be a pretty good grade of fuel. It doesn't have a lot of length to its burn, but it's got a good flash. Which means it's probably more of a gasoline. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So, there you go. That's how to refine uh, from wood all the way to gasoline. Or some form of high grade fuel here. I'm going to keep playing around with this just for a moment just to show you. Uh, hopefully this will continue to burn the whole way. Yeah, look at that. That's just great. Uh, look how fast it burns away though. That, that's really impressive. Leaves almost no residue behind as it's doing so. It's almost burning more as an alcohol than it is uh, of a gasoline. I'm going to have to try this next to uh, normal gasoline and see what the difference is going to be. It's got a little bit of an oil smoke to it when it burns. Pretty neat. I'm going to save this little bit now. And I'm going to try to do a couple more experiments with it just to see exactly what it is. Uh, our next process, let me go ahead and put this back together so it doesn't evaporate all out of there. Alright, now did we get any fuel inside the second jar? Hold on, before I go on. I don't really, let's see if we got any light whatsoever. Um, it's a curious fuel. It drew the flame in for a moment instead of blowing the flame out. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure alcohol and gasoline burn differently, and I'm going to have to look up again which one burns which direction. Uh, that'll give me a pretty good idea. That actually pulled the flame inwards instead of blowing the flame outwards. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed uh, how to make gasoline or some form of fuel to run an engine uh, off of wood from the beginning by turning it into bio-crude oil then distilling it like we have here today and turning it into gasoline. Our next project is going to be taking this grade right here, this honey oil, and now running this through the system and seeing what kind of fuel we can turn this into. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Mr. Tesalonian and the Tesalonian Man Show.